Hi, my name is Cindy Targosh, and I'd like to share my Cindy secrets. Shh. Now it's time for a Cindy chat, and today we have a special guest. You're going to love her. She's from ABC TV Extreme Weight Loss Edition, and this special lady lost 145 pounds in just nine months. It's my privilege to introduce to you in today's Star Glow Spotlight, Trina Miller. Trina, hi. Hi, Cindy. Hi. Thank you for oh, having me. Oh, it's so great to have you here. You're such an inspiration. <laughs> Thank you. Well, now listen, let's let's talk a little bit about the TV show. Like, tell us, in case there's somebody out there who hasn't seen the show, what it is and how you got involved. Well, I actually went to an open casting call at a local furniture store in my area here in Michigan. Mm -hmm. I am from Michigan. And uh, from there, it was a series of sending in videos and losing the weight, showing them that I had what it took to, to, to lose weight and um, that I was ready to lose the weight. And from there, I was chosen for the show. Um, it was uh, a, a year long. I was on the show a year filming. And, uh, you know, it was a lot of learning how to work out. Mm -hmm. eat healthy mm -hmm. and really it's so much more than just eating healthy and working out I lived for years with so much emotion mm -hmm. and I was using food to bury my emotions with mm -hmm. and it was learning to love myself enough to say I'm not going to do that anymore I'm well, not going to eat know, unhealthy let's, anymore. Let's tell everybody a little bit about you and your background. I mean, my goodness, you're a wife, you're a mother, you're a registered nurse, you're a beautiful human being. Tell, tell everybody a little bit about your background, too. Well, I was um, actually I was born and raised in Southern California, and my mom and dad moved back here to Michigan when I was uh, 13 years old, and things didn't go quite well. My parents divorced when I was 13 or 14, and that's when I really started gaining weight. And you know, um, as a as an obese child in school, I was teased so much. Oh, I was that teased. must have been horrible. It was so hard. And you know, what you start doing is you start hiding and you start feeling mm -hmm. like you're worthless and you just, you feel so shameful. And from there, my weight just escalated and I started turning to food for comfort is what, what I did. What was your heaviest weight? I, my, the heaviest I ever weighed was 310 pounds. When I got on the show, when I made the show, I was actually 297 pounds when I first started out with the show. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tell me, um, when you auditioned, you, you, I heard you talking later to some people and how you didn't think you were going to get picked. Um, tell us a little bit about that too, the actual day of the audition and what that was like. Well, like I said, it was at a local furniture store here in Michigan, and it was in February, and it was early morning. I got there, and there was hundreds of people in line, and you go into the furniture store, and there, there's like four tables with some producers, and you, there's six of you sitting around with two producers at a table, mm -hmm. and you literally had three or four minutes to tell your story, you know, and it was... Um, it was overwhelming. To was say it the least. psychologically challenging? I, I, I know. I mean, oh, you absolutely. had your mother. That was she was there. Um, oh yes, my mom is a, is is a lot of. You know, my mom and I are very very close, but. Um, you know, I've never been good enough, and it's just been a struggle with her my whole life. Mm -hmm. And she's been my best friend for years, and it was really learning to finally set boundaries with her that kind of freed myself from, you know, harboring all that of those uh, mm -hmm. feelings of inadequacy and not being good enough and never pleasing her. Mm -hmm. um, just shedding that and knowing that I am good enough and I am worth it. And to be able to talk openly with her about this, because you know, oh, absolutely, I, I, and she knows. Mm -hmm. We do. We do. We talk, and we still. Do That's today. Important. We still do today. We do. We talk about it because, you know, she's not perfect. And well, I'm no, none of us is, and I think that's <laughs> critical to realize that we're all yeah, human beings absolutely. and we make mistakes. In fact, why don't you share with our viewers what your mother actually said to you the day of the audition? I, I think that's quite interesting. Well, we were walking out from the, you know, she, she doesn't, mm -hmm. she doesn't have a filter and she doesn't pay attention to anybody's boundaries, and so she was moseying <laughs> around everywhere she wasn't supposed to during that open casting call. And when we walked out of there, she turned and looked at me and she said, "What makes you think that they would choose you?" Why would they choose you? And I turned to her and I said, 
why wouldn't they? Why mm -hmm. wouldn't they choose me? Why not me, right? When you said that earlier, it really stood out in my mind. And what a great lesson. I mean, not just in terms of diet, but in terms of following your dreams and being your personal best about any category. To, oh, and I knew. You can't I listen knew. sometimes to what no, others say. You can't. You know, it's really about you and finding that inner strength oh, and, and mm -hmm. making yourself mm -hmm. follow that and getting strong enough to every day be the best be self that you can be. Right, yeah, right. You're absolutely. quite an inspiration, my dear. Oh, I got to tell you. Thank you, Cindy. I really do. So nice so, to but meet you. Let's dish a little, though. Okay, yeah. this is Cindy's Secrets. Tell me about the behind the scenes. I know so much was caught on camera, but tell us a little bit about what, what did you like about being on TV? What, you know, share a little bit what you didn't like about the reality well, uh, show. Well, let me tell you something. I'll, oh, this is the truth of it. I get it now. <laughs> you know, when they say like, yes, no, this is a sh When they <laughs> say that actors and actresses, you know, like maybe they want a certain something or food in their dressing room mm -hmm. or they want this mm -hmm. or that. Mm -hmm. You know what? That's really all they have left, Cindy. I'll tell you what, when production tells you we're filming at 6 a.m., we want you dressed up and ready to oh. roll, you are filming at 6 a.m. Oh. And you will film that scene or whatever we're doing that day until you're finished. And that's just the way it is because they're on a timeline. They're on a time crunch. And that was the hardest thing for me is <laughs> always being prepared to, you know, and they only came at certain times. The, the camera crew would come in at certain times mm -hmm, and come in mm -hmm. and film us. Otherwise, I had a diary cam and we filmed a lot of this with the diary cams. Um, and I have to say the greatest thing um, to me about being on the show is losing the weight and finding oh, out who I really am and becoming as strong as I am today. I love the outdoors now. Mm -hmm. I love to bike and jog and I love to run and meeting Chris and Heidi Powell that man is as amazing as you see on TV. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Him and, his wife. and to those who haven't seen the show, tell them who Chris is. Chris Powell is the trainer of the show. He comes and just transforms your life. He teaches you how to love yourself enough every day to hold true to your commitments to, mm -hmm. to better health and to eating. He teaches you how to eat healthy. He shows you exercise and it's just amazing. And it's you an have this trainer. incredible joy about you that I really like that, you, that you're sharing oh, with everybody. You. But now going forward though, um, you, you've lost the weight. Mm, what, how do you manage you know, now that you're not on the show with that strict yep. reg regime. And absolutely, it's it's the hardest now. It's the hardest now for me now that I'm mm -hmm. not on the show. I don't have that boot camp anymore because there was boot camp in Arizona that we would go to from time to time when we were struggling with weight loss. So now it's just me. But you know, during the whole show, I've always said nobody's lost a pound for me but me. Mm -hmm. So now I love to exercise. I My body <laughs> likes it. It's It becomes a habit, does it not? Yes, I mean, it you does. You know I love it too. And that's why I just had to interview you because Gosh, you so follow the my sin secrets philosophy of joy oh, within oh. and you, you obviously I show it to strength the world from such a good workout it, <sighs> sometimes it can bring me to tears mm -hmm. and I'll tell you what don't forget to look up when you're out jogging or walking and just finding sometimes it's the trees and the leaves mm -hmm. or the birds or the sun oh, or you know it's wonderful yeah. and now you know what's very exciting is you're able to take this joy and the lessons you've learned and you're going on and doing some programs for others let's, let's dish about that too tell everybody what you're doing now I'm that's, so I think, excited. Yeah, yes, well, I'm share. so excited to say I've partnered here with Michigan with the Flat Rock Recreation Center, and I've, I'm bringing to life my Life Changing Ways program. Mm -hmm. And what this is, it's going to be an eight-week uh, weight loss um, and healthy eating, a healthy journey. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be exercise and diet tips and recipes. We're going to have a trainer. We're going to meet three nights a week mm -hmm. and uh, for two hours a night. And we're going to learn how to start. Uh, I'm going to actually teach others how to start their own healthy journey, uh, something that, that hopefully they're going to be able to sustain for the rest of their life like I am now. If you could do it, they can do it, right? Oh, if we, we all can. We all can do it. Especially for the new year to get started. To get started with mm -hmm. the new year, we're going to be really kicking it off in January. And, um, you know, it's, it's about starting a community of change where, you know what, we're all in this together. And if we all support one another, that's one of the biggest things that Chris taught me mm -hmm. is their mm -hmm. strength in numbers. And what is your website? You I them? have a website. It's lifechangingways.com. And it's W-E-I-G-H-S. And I also have a blog, lifechangingways, um, at wordpress.com. Well, I think that's so exciting. Thank you. I really do. I wish you so much luck with that. Now, this again, because this is Cindy Secret Secrets, I can't even say my name. On a fun, quirky note, do you have any other hobbies or um, um, little tidbits you might want to share that's, that people you know, might find interesting? Do you play the piano? 
What do you do well, when you're not exercising? <laughs> <exactly>. <laughs> well, I love antiquing. Oh. And I love antiques. And I love to just go on a long country ride and find some mm -hmm. old antique shops. And uh, it's not even about buying anything. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's just about shopping around. I love to antique. I like to ask that because I think it's important in life to have balance and, oh, absolutely. and find something that does bring you joy. And it sounds like you have a wonderful, balanced life. And you've really, you've really done some wonderful, positive things. Things, and I think that the world has just seen the beginning of Trina Miller. Aww. You heard it here. Oh, before we go though, yes. do you have any last minute um, or last little bit of words of advice to, that you might want to share with somebody that's in that same position you were in? You know, to you know wrap what? this up, what do yes. you got to say? You know what, let me tell you three tips. I want to say the first thing that I learned from Chris Powell is hydrate. Always, uh, you need to be drinking mm -hmm. plenty of water throughout the day. Not only does it, it, it helps your complexion, but it also boosts up your metabolism. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very, very important to flush with, a, with plenty of water. So you should be drinking eight um, glasses of water a day besides what you're normally drinking with your meals. Mm -hmm. And one more thing is that you need to always be eating breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so you want to eat something healthy in the morning because it really helps to jumpstart your metabolism and mm -hmm. get you going for your day. And you had a third you said too? Well, I'd like to tell you my third one, yes, is that there is strength in numbers. And by that I mean that you need to rely on other people, not just you, but rely. Find someone that you can help that can help you through this, this mm -hmm. journey. For me, it's my husband and my kids, and they're so supportive, and that's why I'm so successful now. And by starting this Life Changing Ways program here at the Flat Rock Recreation Center, I'm gonna be able to help other people in the community start their own healthy journey. Well, Trina, thank you so much for sharing this with my Cindy Secrets oh, members, you. and you keep doing what you're doing, okay? Oh, you go, girl. You. Thank, you. thank you. Hi, this is Trina Miller. I'm from ABC's Extreme Weight Loss Edition, and I love my Cindy's secrets. Shh.